That's what I'm talking about. Wait. Okay, now, from the beginning. Hello and welcome to Wolfridge Woodworking. I'm so happy that you're joining me today here in the shop. I've got a special project here um, and the idea is to go from a prototype or, or proof of concept, uh, you know, whatever you want to call it, to an actual product. This isn't the actual product, by the way, but this is my inspiration of a shape that I really like. Um, I want to make it out of resin and plywood. I know plywood's a weird um, medium to go with, but gosh, man, wait till you see this, these pictures up close. It really is kind of neat looking. So anyway, so that's what this video is going to be about is how do we go about taking an inspiration, do a prototype to it, and then next video we'll be actually making this with these products. So stick around, let's get started. All right, you can see how thin I made it by, you know, the light from the phone shining through. And so I did that, um, again, as to act as a mold. Why didn't I use HDP or, you know, it's because they're going to be all different sizes. So I'd have all different, uh, you know, uh, thicknesses. So this is two inches here. So this is going to be towards the bottom. So it gives me more room to uh, bevel where this one's at the top. And so it's going to be one inch. So I don't waste, waste as much resin. I did the calculations and just these two here are about 12 ounces of resin. So not, that's not too bad. So, it, you know, the, the cost of resin, I even noticed today that it's gone up about 20 bucks, uh, at least in the Illumina light. Uh, so, you know, I want to save as much as I can. So what I want to do is because it's so thin, I don't know if the mic will pick that up, but it's super thin. Um, I want to make sure that the resin doesn't seep through. So I'm going to use this Tyvex tape to kind of secure the, the back and the sides, and that'll keep the resin in here. I got the uh, hot glue gun uh, heating up off camera. I've got um, holes drilled through all of the uh, the pieces here, but not the bottom. I've just got the center punched and marked on both sides. So the idea is, is that I'm going to use this uh, scrap piece of wood that's going to go into the, the chuck. And I've got a hole through it. So I'm gonna use just a, a, a punch and I'm going to align it up, hot glue it to there. And then I've got holes drilled through the rest of them so that I can align all the pieces up. And I'm gonna glue them individually. 
and then that will align with the other punch. So what I'm trying to do is because I don't want to lose so much resin um, and I want to keep it. Um, so that helps me just get everything aligned up. Maybe it's too much, maybe it's not, but that's kind of the idea and that's the method to my madness. All right, so note to self, wear gloves when you're working with epoxy. Um, so anyway, so I got it on here and I put pressure on in the middle, but I don't I was right here just in the center and I just didn't think it was getting enough on the outside. Uh, so I just added some clamps, um, but I've got good um, squeeze out of the epoxy um, all the way around. So I'm really happy with that. I think it's going to have a good connection. Um, so I'm just going to let this, I'm going to give it probably an hour to set up and then I'll come out and uh, we'll uh, get to turning it.
Alrighty, well, that's gonna wrap it up. Um, keep in mind, this was just an experiment. This was a prototype uh, for the hollow form that I wanna make, uh, but I didn't know exactly how things were going to be, so I wanted to do a prototype um, before I, I actually did the uh, the work because it was it's going to be a lot of work to do. But anyway, so I think it turned out well. A couple of lessons learned, um, being that the, the plywood um, sanding, I think I need to go up to like maybe 240, 220, something like that. Apply a couple of coats of sanding sealer and then go up through the grits because even after sanding to 600, applying the sanding sealer, it's still. <laughs> you can still feel the roughness. It's not so bad now that it's got the friction polish on it, but I think that's something that I'll change next time. Uh, may think about re how I do the bottom. Um, I'm not sure. It's kind of thin. I don't know if you can hear that, but, um, but anyway, I'm really happy. I think it's a cool idea, but I hope you enjoyed this. I hope that you got the idea that sometimes you just got to experiment with something if it's going to be a, uh, a you know, something that's going to take you a long time before you invest so much time. Um, and it comes out with a cool little prototype. Uh, but thank you for sticking around. You know the drill. Give it that thumbs up. Give it the thumbs down. Uh, drop a comment. Share it. All of the goes to great things. Um, if this is your first time, click over here uh, if you want to see other videos. If you want to become a subscriber, click up here. Click that bell so that you're notified when I upload a new video. And as always, I wish you and your family a blessed day. Thank you.